Good morning, everybody. John Kirk here with Travel Pulse Canada in beautiful Portugal, Porto, and we're attending the uh, Travel Trade Marketplace here at, uh, at this beautiful hotel, the Pasana. And it's an old perfume factory, very, very cool place. This morning, we got the opportunity to uh, sit down and, uh, and have a chat with Nuno Vizienda, who's the Secretary of State with tourism within his portfolio. Great conversation, and uh, let's, let's uh, hear what he had to say. Good morning, everybody. John Kirk here again on another beautiful morning in, in Portugal. <laughs> Luckily enough, it seems every morning I wake up here, the sun is shining and the grass is green and the weather is beautiful, so you're a lucky man. I'm here with uh, Secretary of State for, uh, for Portugal, uh, Nuno Vizenda. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, how are you? I'm great with this uh, sunny day, which is a... Uh uh, but this is a country with a lovely climate, uh, so it's always good to be here in Portugal. And in fact, in Porto, which is a world heritage place as well. Yep. I know yesterday we heard that you have the highest number of um, of heritage, world heritage sites of, of any European country, I think we heard yesterday during the speech. Yes, we have um, a lot of world heritage sites here in, uh, in the north of Portugal. You have uh, the historic center of Porto, you have the Alto Douro wine region. Actually, the Douro is the oldest wine demarcated region in the world. Uh, you have also Coa Park, prehistoric um, um, world heritage uh, uh, caves and we have also in the north um, also Guimarães historic center it's also world heritage and in Braga also um, also a religious place the sanctuary of Bon Jesus which is world heritage place wow. but then you have in other regions of the, of the, of the yeah. country it was, it, was a, it was a great night last night, and you opened up with a tourist taste, a toast of Porto to all the attendees. So 120 travel consultants from North America here, great in the list of suppliers, all integrating. And Portugal tourism a huge export part of your of your your economic makeup. How important is tourism to? to the country in terms of the economy? Yeah, tourism is a very important activity for our country. It's our, actually it's our major export activity, represents 20% of the total exports of goods and services. So it's a very important activity in terms of exports for GDP and also for uh, creation of employment. So it's, uh, it's a, a factor of regional development as well. Uh, so it's a very important uh, activity in our country and uh, in this context we are now we have a strategy to develop tourism in Portugal which is called strategy 2027 mm -hmm. and um, our axis is to promote the sustainable tourism development and uh, and we want to lead the tourism of the future and leading the tourism of the future we are talking about a sustainable tourism more technological more territorial cohesion we want to have tourism uh, all over the, the territory and not only in the coast so that's some uh, that's another priority that we are now uh, focused yeah. Is, yeah, because tourism generally in Portugal is generally driven to the coastal areas. Is there any kind of a push or initiative to drive tourism for domestically and international to interior, interior Portugal? Yes, we are. Um, we have uh, great destinations in in our coast. They are our hotspots, but we have also great. Uh, tourism attractions in the interior of Portugal and now we are developing a strategy to develop also the interior of Portugal with uh, with some lines of uh, to support projects to to qualify uh, our tourism resources in the interior and we are also trying to develop a campaign specifically to develop to promote the interior of Portugal and and also another strategy that we are developing is a strategy of um, partnership with uh, Spain you know a uh, cross border uh, strategy oh, like two center holiday yeah across border Portugal and Spain to promote uh, the tourism between two countries so it's uh, something that we are really committed is to promote also the tourism in the interior of Portugal and Canada and and Portuguese Portugal have a long-standing relationship and partnership there's a huge uh, Portuguese community in Toronto and in uh, in Montreal um, in Toronto we have street signs that are in, in Portugal in Portuguese um, so we've got I think there's uh, 40 of the 120 travel consultants that sort have of been invited to, to this event are Canadian mm -hmm. uh, how, how important is uh, Canada to your overall makeup from tourism and what value do the travel consultants bring do you think for the Portuguese uh, tourism sector Canada it's a very important uh, market for us because actually like in North America in general terms it's uh, very important for Portugal for several reasons for proximity we are the closest country from Europe uh, to the North America 
Yeah. Yep. Uh, on the other hand, we have also a friendship relationship between uh, uh, both countries. Um, Portugal has uh, uh, a tourism supply that matches with the tourism demand in Canada. Uh, and Portugal have also a great visibility in Canada in terms of gastronomy and wines. Um, and so there's a huge potential in terms of, um, of our, um, our, our demand uh, in Canada to Portugal. Yeah. But um, in order to reinforce this connection, in order to reinforce these links, it's important to have this kind of initiatives, the workshops, uh, more promotion. And so that's why it's very important to have here some consultants, some tour operators, travel agents, press from Canada yeah. to show the, the best things of Portugal, the, 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 the extraordinary assets, the extraordinary uh, the natural resources to show to the to the Canadian market uh, how Portugal is great to visit and, and to stay here. Open open for business and ready to roll. Now, d digital learning, digital training, learning management systems has become so important to the travel industry, particularly through COVID. Is there any initiatives? Do you have anything that's uh, coming up or, or training initiatives that travel consultants use and have on a regular basis as part of your overall learning management for the destination? Actually, we have, um, in the context of Tourism of Portugal, which, which is the National Tourism Authority, we have uh, 12 schools specifically for hospitality and tourism, uh, where, do, where we provide training for professionals of tourism, but also we provide also some courses for enterprises to, do, to provide some capacitation as well. But then we, we have also our uh, universities and polytechnics that provide several courses to c make capacitation and to make more training for our professionals. It's very important to have human qualified resources uh, and that's the thing that we are also working on. Yeah. Okay, I know you're busy. I'm, I've probably taken too much time because when I get no, going, I, great, I can't it's a stop. Pleasure, it's a All right, pleasure. thank you very much. Thank you so much. Very nice All meeting you. And, and I hope you enjoy Portugal. Oh, I want to get out this afternoon to really get down to the city center and see if I can enjoy some of the pedestrian right. traffic and restaurants. Right. So thank you very thank much, you so for, much for having us along. I appreciate it. All the best. Okay, thank thanks you. very much, everybody, for watching. We'll see you soon.